What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Time to continue some more Final Fantasy. I don't know where those boxes came from. I feel like they respawn time based because I stopped the game, but pretty sure I had to destroy those the other day. Wait, let's see where we're heading. Extra sneaky. Crawling through air ducts. Hang on, I've been here. What the hell? The chest that I opened. Where are you taking us, dude? I don't think I've been through here. No, that's the door that was locked before. I see, I see, I see. We're going back to that door that he was like, they stole the key, but it wasn't a key. Now it all makes sense. Side. Think the kid's gonna be okay going in alone? I don't think we have much of a choice. The convenient bench right here. This is 100% a boss fight about to happen. means I'm saving in case I need to save scum. It's Leslie. Got some urgent info for the Don. <laughs> Come alone? Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually... It's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. Uh. <coughs> I'm fucked up, dude. <laughs> Leslie. <coughs> I don't think I need to remind you why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy, claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. I'll let you in on a secret. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market! I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was going to let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo. Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation, hmm? When you think you've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? It's you. You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. <laughs> it is the thing. <laughs> Feel free to play with your food. Gone out. Master. I've already beaten this thing down once. I can do it again. Oh, he has little babies this time. 
How fun. First him, then Corneo. Okay, weak to fire. Ice attacks have no effect on the gauge at all. And what is Barrett? Is Barrett? Barrett has fire on. All right, this will be easy then. What about the horns? Can I break those? I feel like I can break the horns. Actually, no. Let me, um... Before I do anything, I need to get everybody all, uh, buffed up and whatnot. Okay. This one, these ones are just wandering. They're not even like coming after me. Gen on Barrett. Barrett gets a barrier on himself, and now everyone is nice and buffed up. Tifa. I want a haste on Cloud, and I want a haste on yourself. Let's turn it up. No, not this shit again. I don't know if breaking the tail does anything, but he is in the perfect spot to get fucked up by this. Time to burn. Tails down, you can't do that attack anymore, can you, big guy?
No escape. Etheron Cloud. Etheron Cloud. My turn. Heat things up. Dude, that fire spell just lit him up. That was a pretty badass finish. I'm very happy with how that turned out. And I cut off his tail, broke one of the horns. I know it's not Monster Hunter, but I feel like I did a good job, you know? Oh, never mind. I can't do the bench. Well, I doubt there's an actual fight against Corneo. You okay? Where's Corneo? Sorry. Bastard got away. Fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Huh? She could still be out there. Can never be sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. Hmm. Thanks. Hold up. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here. And then I'll give you what you need. What was the... What was in the sack?
I'd like to use that bench, please. I could probably just do the whole L1 head up thing, but just in case there's something on the way out. Oh, <laughs> I guess not. That sweet Midgar small. <laughs> this way. <sighs> Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one-way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. You should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone, too. That right. Hope you find them. You too. Yes, let's go turn that in. More people here. Everyone who got out of oh, what brings you here? Gifts from an angel. They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The angel of the slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Tell me, what was she like? Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can use hey, it. Hey, art of swordplay. I like it. With that, I can probably get a upgrade on cloud. Hell yeah, I can. Twenty one. How much more magic can I get? Actually, got all the magic. Oh nope, there's a magic eight. Where is it at? Grab that and hmm. I can't afford trade off. I could get max health. Let's do the two hundred health. You never go wrong with more health. With that one done, I think. We are done the side quests. Yep, that is all the side quests for chapter 14. Uh, what am I missing on battle intel? Master the Materia. Hmm, close am I. Wind's maxed, poison is coming along. Um, damn, I almost got subversion done. Binding is almost, no, not really. Binding's going to take a while. Time is going to take a while as well, but I got slow. So you said, what was that, 7 out of 12, I think? Let's 
7 out of 12. So I'm five materia away. And those five materias would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, fuck. The only thing I'm not sure about now, because I feel like once I go, you know, there, there was the whole, like, once you go up to the plate, you can't come back. Um, I am... What is his name? Um, what's that guy's name? The Materia guy. I'm gonna spoil something for myself here. Because I'm a... Huge nerd when it comes to min-maxing. I want to see if, um, is it Chadley? Chadley FF7? It is Chadley, okay. Um, Chadley locations FF7. I want to see if he shows up again later in the game. Because if he does, I'm going to continue on with the main story. If not, I'm going to farm and get that shit done. Uh, find chapter 14 of the title, find again, blah, blah, blah. Our final chapter, where one of the characters' locations are found, is in chapter 16. All right, you know, I think I can just, I'll just continue on then. I'll, I'll make a push for the end. As long as I can find him later, because what's his name's whole thing about, like, you know, once you go, there's no coming back. I was like, uh, I don't know about that. I am trying to accomplish all of these materials. I actually worked that I teleported over here, because it looks like I just take this way and I weave through that. Alright, well, I might as well uh, get things started. At the very least, we'll get through like the, the cutscenes of getting up top or whatever ridiculous amount of dialogue the game's going to throw our way. Um, but we'll probably save, obviously, a new chapter for a new chapter, so. New chapter for a new episode. Excuse me. Get my terminology all mixed up. I feel like I'm getting close, though. I know there's like eight, 18 or 19 chapters. Ready to do this? Once we start up that wall, we won't be coming back here anytime soon. So, when this is over, you gonna go on being a merc? That's the plan. Reckon it suits you? Yeah, it does. Used to think you were a little shit with a big attitude and a bigger inferiority complex. Quite possibly the worst person I have ever met. But that was before I figured you out. All this, it ain't you. Deep down, you're a pretty nice guy. Didn't see it when we were kids, but... Don't know about any of that. But kindness is no use on the battlefield. If anything, it's a liability. Hey, no one's asking you to treat Shinra with kid gloves. <sighs> Aerith's up there waiting for us. Then we better get a move on, huh? Ready? You know, I'm not sure who I'd take. Like, I want Aerith in the party because she can double cast. The Midgar stood still. Two goals. Goal one, kick some Shinra ass and save the planet. Goal two, save the girl while kicking Mo Shinra ass and get out. Copy. All right. Well, this seems like a good spot to wrap up. Um, but yeah, I mean, Aerith, Aerith makes sense as the magic caster. I mean, that's that's not even, you know, regardless of making a magic cloud or a magic Tifa, the fact that Aerith has a spell that allows her to duplicate casts makes her the clearly superior choice. But I'm actually kind of digging this party right now. Like, I don't know. I could always go back to elemental Tifa and go back to having kind of a tankier uh, 
support cloud but having barrett like at first i wasn't a big fan of barrett i just felt like he was kind of boring to play as but the more i've played with him the more i've really liked how convenient his gun is to just clear out garbage because anytime you're fighting trash and it's like flying or hopping away and shit it's kind of hard to stay on him with cloud or tifa and barrett's just like ba -da 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 -da, you're dead so Anyway, uh, we're going to get started with this next chapter in the next episode, so y'all stay tuned, and I will catch you soon enough with more of the remake.